ceiling is our guest book, so a lot of the good folks we met as we toured the country and uh, signed the guest book, put their favorite quote or website up there. So sometimes, you know, wake up in the morning and look up and like see a quote or see something that stands out and gives you a little inspiration to keep going. All right, we're getting out for a minute, but hopefully we'll catch up. All right, dude. Be safe. Pete and I live in Marv, uh, we travel the country. LibriaandTour.com is just us trying to be an educational source for folks who are out there looking for ideas that are more freedom loving. So we just left Winchester, New Hampshire, we're just driving south. Uh, we're almost to Vermont and then we're gonna get hop on I-91 and, and make our way down to New York City. We got a good crew here, we're gonna check on Occupy Wall Street, it should be a good time. small disorganized protest on Wall Street in Lower Manhattan here in New York has grown today to demonstrations nationwide against corporate greed. From New York to L.A., even up in Maine, people took to the streets to express their anger and make sure their message is heard. We're here at uh, Union Square in New York City. It's uh, October 22nd, the uh, National Day Against Police Brutality, uh, the criminalization of a gener generation. Uh, it's going on in multiple cities across the country. So we got a bunch of cameras between us. We have big cameras, little cameras, live streaming technology, uh, all sorts of literature. No justice! No peace! We're a big crowd. Let the people hear us. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! What do we... we need you to more than to come out to the rally on October 22nd. We need you to get involved in an ongoing way. We need you to get organized into this fight. And, uh, my brother, David Glazensky, was killed by the Southampton Village Police Department. I just ran into a guy in a white hoodie on and said, free hug, and he said, thanks to you guys. You know, I'm fighting this charge. He said he was charged with solicitation. The video now is uh, it's on Cop Block, has over 10,000 views, he said, so it was really cool to see and meet him and hear how us sharing these kind of ideas is uh, it's positively impacting somebody's life. So today I'm going to show you a few exercises again. We're just going to do some like upper body stuff. I like trying to stay in shape. I think it's about exercising your body and your mind. One, it's a stress reliever and two, it's an investment in yourself and you're going to be more productive in the long run. Well, I don't think we're your typical RVers, so some of the things that are sacrificed for us, you know, there's long hours in what we do. I mean, there is a lot of maintenance to RVing. You have to take care of like the water storage, the waste storage, oil maintenance, tire pressure. Basically, there's a two types of water and where it goes, it's the gray and the black water. And the gray water is more or less your dish soap, your dirty water from dishes, sink, toothbrush, and the black water is your toilet and stuff. So. I don't know if I would do RVing the rest of my life. I would definitely like to own an RV though for the rest of my life. Some folks at full time, it's a way to travel. It's a vacation for us. Uh, it's our home and it's our workspace. It's definitely a big plus to be doing this kind of lifestyle, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Ultimately, we're doing something we love, and that's the, the biggest thing. To be able to you know, help others is uh, very rewarding. 